Tonight I'd like to talk a little bit about center drills and center drilling. Uh, it's pretty pretty simple. Seems like a pretty simple thing to do, and it is as long as you you do it correctly. But like anything else, if you do it incorrectly, and there are a few ways to uh, drill a center hole wrong, it uh, can come back and bite you later on and and cause you problems with it with a part because your part basically revolves in the lathe anyway. Your part revolves around the center hole, so if it's not put in right it can transfer into to problems later on. Uh, first let's talk a little bit about different types of center drills. Um, these are plain plain center drills they call them. They're, they're 60 degree angle on them and they have a little pilot. Uh, this is a, they come in different sizes. This is a number one, this is a number four. Those are the, the two most common sizes I have. There are bigger ones like this. There are bigger ones yet but for, for this lathe and type of work I do a, a number one and a number four pretty much does everything I need to do. Uh, you can also get plain center drills and long long versions like this. They're good in, for use in the milling machine for reaching down inside of a pocket to spot a drilled hole or something like that. These work great. Um, besides the plain center drills, there's there are different type, a couple other different types. This one's called a bell center center drill. It has, you can see it has a little extra angle out here, about a 15 degree angle out on the very outside. So when you drill down in here, this this seats the the 60 degree part slightly before below the uh, surface of the part. That's that's for if you have a a part that you want to do multiple operations on and you want your your center hole protected a little bit. This is a good one to use for that. Uh, or if you can use a plain one and just be a little bit careful and try not to mess up the center hole. Um, another one is uh, it's called a radius center drill. That one, instead of having a 60 degree cone shape on it, the sides of the of the tapered part are radiused a little bit. They're kind of kind of curved, and those are used mostly for for like grinding. If you want to do external grinding on the part, they use those because they're a little more accurate because they only bear on a, on a, a line around the center instead of on the whole face of the center. But we don't we don't need to worry about that here. Just a plain center drill is all you need. I get it. You know, a handful of ones and a handful of fours that should should do you pretty well. Um, okay, let's talk about about center drilling. What do we, how do we do it? Well, first thing we need to do before we center drill is face off our stock, get rid of the sawed surface. Let's go ahead and do that. We already covered that in the video, so we don't have to talk much about it. Let's just face this off and get on with the center drilling. Okay, hopefully that's hopefully that's close enough that you can see. Um, well, there are a couple things you can do that will cause you problems when you're center drilling. Uh, one of them is to center drill too shallow. That uh, results in a, a center that's not really big enough to support the part. Let's do that here. Let's. You know, if you just start drilling in on the, uh, the tapered part, just put a little bit of a center in. That, uh, well in this case, it's probably fine, but if it's a bigger part, that may not be enough to, to support it and support the part and the machining on it, and the part may the center may fail about halfway through your machining operation, which tends to ruin your day because you end up with a part that's off center. Um, another problem that a lot of people have, or some people have, is going too deep. Show you what that looks like. You should use, whenever you're center drilling, you should use uh, oil. It's not, it's not that important on aluminum, but on steel, if you don't use oil, it can very easily break the, the pilot off the center. Right here, if we go too deep, like that, you can see that we ended up with a little cylindrical bore before it starts tapering in. So when you put your center in that, it only bears on the very outside, just a line rather than all along the, the tapered surface. And again, your, your center will fail, you know, partway through your machining operation. 
it'll loosen up and the part will start wobbling and your your center won't be doing its job anymore. So that's that's too deep. Let me face this off and we'll see if we can correct this situation. All right. Your center hole should go about two thirds of the way in the uh, conical part of the of the drill, right about there. No farther. If you need a smaller center, then use a smaller center drill. If you need a bigger one, use a bigger one. But you know, every center center drill should go about two thirds deep on the tapered section. That's that's a good a good rule to, to follow. Um, Okay, so if we're turning apart between centers, we'd, we'd center drill each end just like this. Flip it around and do the other end. Same way. Then we'd mount it between centers and do our turning. Uh, sometimes it's tempting to uh, support the end of the work with a chuck like this and center drill the, the, out, the outboard side or the outboard end and do your turning that way. Well, that's fine. As long as you as long as you uh, plan ahead a little bit and don't center drill your part with the part all the way in the chuck like this. If you do that, your light will end up with a surprise later. And let me show you show you why. Let me go ahead and center drill this part. Like we normally would, like we did on the other end. Like that, two thirds of the way in. Okay, there we got a, a part that's centered on both ends. Now let's say I want to stick this out and support one end of it with a chuck, so I can do my turning. Let me back the camera out here a little bit. Get a center in the tailstock. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. All right, so we want to support this end with the center, that's fine. But look what happens here if, you, if your stack's not uh, round or if it's bent or, you know, if it's got scale on it, you can end up with something like this. See how much the center's wobbling? So if you think ahead a little bit, if you want to extend a part out of a chuck and hold it in a chuck, then do your center drilling with the part already extended, okay? Put it in the chuck first, stick it out as far as you need, and then center drill it. Then your center will be on the rotational center of the part. Right now, if I go ahead and run my center in like this, it doesn't care. It'll straighten the part out. See, the part will run nice and true. And you can go ahead and do all your turning on it, but as soon as you take that center out, guess what? You're going to end up with a, a bent part again. So all that nice machining is all for naught. So if you're, if you're planning on machining a part sticking out of a chuck like this, Center drill it with the part sticking out. Don't center drill it all up close to the chuck like I like I demonstrated here. Um, that's about all there is to center drilling. Uh, maybe next time we'll uh, we'll cover turning to a diameter. I'll see you then.